If you work or are involved in AI in any capacity, you would know what this image means. Here you can see the legendary Johnny Ive of Apple and Sam Altman of OpenAI have joined hands to create a new company. What that would be? Nobody knows, but the word on the street is that Johnny Ive is going to create a hardware product with OpenAI, wherein the primary input would be just voice. And since I work in voice AI and my interest lies so much in voice technology, I firmly believe that is the future. And throughout the dawn of AI, I have been experimenting with all the whispered models, all the apps that use them in my own life. And today in this video, I'm going to share the best app out there, which can take your voice as input and you can do incredible things with it like replying to an email with context awareness with just one simple line of input or creating notes while dictating what actually you want to achieve. And just to make it transparent, I have not been paid anything for this review. I just like this app so much that I have been using this long enough in my workflow that I just thought it would be cool to share this with you as well. The app is called Spokenly and let me just show you how you can also work with your voice and use it as a tool to input instructions in your computer. So this is Spokenly's website. Very, very minimal interface and don't let this fool you because this app is amazing. Uh, these are the features that matter the most. It's multilingual, which is extremely, extremely important for a lot of people I know out there, including me. Uh, it has local only models. It has an agent mode through which you can control your Mac using voice commands and also do things like run shortcuts, launch apps, all of that extremely useful. It is of course AI powered so you can link LLMs and fix your grammar and adapt to context and all of that. And also format your text depending upon where you want it to be pasted. Uh, the speed is really great. I'll just demo that to you. And it has history and search. So these are the broad feature sets that Spokenly has, but I'm going to evaluate this app on a couple of things that matter to me, which is security, UI and UX, and most importantly, the stability factor, because this app has to be very, very stable for me to be confident that every time I use this app, my voice is going to be transcribed to text with zero errors. Now, the first thing I really like about this app is that the developer has decided to distribute it via App Store, right? And there is a certain kind of security I feel when some app is available on the App Store versus if I have to download a DNG and then install on my Mac, which almost all of the other apps are doing right now. So this straight away gets my points for Spookily to be available as an app inside the App Store, which also solves the problem of app updation because if everything is handled by Apple's own app store, I don't have to worry about anything, right? So this looks like uh, the page of Spokenly and what you will see when you go to the app store listing of that. Since I have already downloaded this on my Mac, I'll just open the app, right? So this is how it will look uh, on the first pane, which is general preferences, right? So all of these are standard. So you can launch at login. You can show in dock, which I choose not to because I just... Uh, keep my dock very very clean. I just want an icon on the status bar Which I have and you can choose your microphone priority, right? So my priority is my MacBook Air's microphone as a number one thing Then I have zoom then I have airports crisp iPhone all of that So you can select the priorities and you can also delete what you don't want to be added as a microphone That spokenly will work with right uh, all these things I automatically turn on now, this is something that you might want to turn on in your use case. So, uh, if you want to automatically copy the dictated text to your clipboard, you can turn this on. So, I don't really need to do it, right? So, this is just the basic stuff. The real magic comes here, which is the dictation models, right? And Spokenly supports all of these models right out of the box. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to do anything else. The default app supports everything from Whisper to uh, NVIDIA Parakeet to Assembly to DeepGram, Mistral, OpenAI, whatever there is. Uh, the choice of the model depends upon you. If you want to have local models because you are concerned about privacy, you don't want to send your audio to any servers, you can choose local models. Or if you want to have online models uh, transcribe your text, 
you can use the online function. The advantage of online models like DeepGram and uh, Mistral and Eleven Labs is these guys are multilingual, right? So you can see multilingual, multilingual, and the local models usually are not multilingual. So if you are speaking only English, you can choose to have local models and that will give you much better speed and reliability. But for multilingual uh, people out there, my suggestion would be to use either DeepGram or Assembly AI. These are the fastest models that I have personally used for the multilingual use case, right? Then you have a transcribe file. So if you want to transcribe uh, an audio file manually, you can use this. You can have a history which it saves or you can also select to not have any history or to keep it for any amount of time, right? You can have keyboard controls right here. You can select the primary key that you want to choose that will trigger spokenly and let me just show how it how it pops up hey this is a test of how spokenly app performs while i am doing a demo for my youtube channel so it actually transcribed everything with 100% accuracy it also added punctuation marks like a comma after hey and it also added a full stop this is when I'm using NVIDIA's Paracrete model, which is a local only model with Spokenly and I'm doing it completely for free. Now, you are seeing that I can have multiple uh, keyboard controls for specific apps. That setting is actually here. So here is where all the magic comes. So here you can decide to have an AI prompt that will manipulate whatever is transcribed to follow a set of instructions that you give to the AI. For example, if I'm in my notes app and I want to uh, format the notes in a specific way, I can tell the AI to do all of that for me and I'll just say whatever I want to say to spokenly in a very natural format. Let me show you how that works. So this is my notes prompt. So uh, the setting is that the app in focus is notes and this is my prompt that that you are transcribing this text for the notes application on Mac. So make it compatible with notes, add bullet points, emojis or whatever to make it really beautiful and useful, right? And here in the additional settings, I have used Google Gemini's 2.0 flash model. You can add any provider and use it instead, whatever you wish to use. I have added OpenAI and Grok and Gemini. So I'll use this. Right, And you can also have an option to uh, launch apps or ask GPT or YouTube search. All of these comes under the agent mode, right? So let me just quickly show you how this works inside uh, the notes. So this is my notes app. And if I invoke Spokenly right now, you will see in the UI that the small notes icon appear, right? And I'll just dictate it how I would take a note. And then let's see how it transcribes and then uses LLM to format our note in exactly this format that we have instructed it to do, right? So let me make some notes. Remind me tomorrow to uh, get some eggs. Also check on the library and also call my sister. And it's transcribing and now it's going to Exactly. It's going to format according to what I have instructed in this AI prompt. So even though I spoke all of these in one sentence, it transcribed and converted that to a notes-friendly list. Right? How cool is that? And I can do the same with any app. If I'm on the Gmail, I can tell it to be more professional or anything like that. Right? And one more thing you can do is to allow AI to see your screen. Right, so this adds context to your transcription so that the LLM who's transforming your text also has additional context in the form of what's in your screen. Now, if you're very privacy focused, I don't recommend you to turn this on, but if this fits your workflow, go ahead and try it out. Right, so this is what I transcribed via Paracrete's model. Let me just change the model and let me show you how it works with. Uh, deep ground and just to give you an idea to, to configure any uh, service you just have to go to the API key and get these API keys from any uh, provider and just use it here I just show you how to do it via deep ground and you can do it with anything else then 
So I'll go to decram.com and I'll this is what my dashboard looks like. And by the way, Deepgram gives you $200 of credit for free whenever you create a new account. And this credit is going to last you a long, long time because it's super cheap to transcribe any audio with Deepgram or any other model, whatever is out there, right? So I can create an API key and I can just say spokenly one and I'll create the key. And this is how what you have to paste right inside here and then select the model whichever you want to use the latest of them is nova 3 right now the best part about deepgram is it also has streaming support with spokenly what that means is whatever i'm going to speak is going to stream in real time on my screen as i speak it right so if let's say i test it right here remind me tomorrow that i have to uh, check my phone at 8 30 pm also, I have to call my sister at 9.30 and also remind me that my friend's birthday is day after tomorrow. So you see, all of this was transcribing in real time and it very quickly has converted what I just spoke to a note-friendly format because that was my LLM prompt right here. Now let me show you the fun ways I use Spokenly in my day-to-day -day life. So this is my Twitter account and I'm going to create a prompt that is going to reply to a tweet whenever I want or ask it to do. For that, let's go to settings and let's go to AI prompt and I'll create a new prompt and I'll say that reply to the tweet in one line in informational and witty manner. And here, instead of using app focus, because I'm using Twitter inside my uh, web browser, what I'll do is create a keyboard shortcut. So I'll record a shortcut. Let's say I record this one. And whenever I invoke this shortcut, Spokenly will automatically invoke this AI prompt in my workflow. So let me just add a uh, Gemini as my model. I click close. Now what will happen is my main prompt is MD. So if I'm using Spokenly normally using my default key, which is the right option key, it's going to just do simple speech to text. But if I do this, it's going to change to this prompt on the flyer, right? Let me show that. So let's say I go here and say, and I'm going to invoke the shortcut with command shift NT, and I'm going to say, reply to this tweet. And it's going to see what's on the screen and create a reply automatically depending upon what the context of the tweet was. How cool is that, right? Let me give you one more example. Uh, if I, let's say, go up here and I'll say, reply to this tweet. And it's going to analyze what it is and it's going to give a reply depending upon how my prompt is. Now I can write any prompt and it will do the same like this let me show you one more fun thing with linkedin so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna change the uh prompt for this thing once again and i'm gonna say write an informational linkedin post on the topic provided and i think this should work now okay so let's go to linkedin and let's see how this is going to work so I'll go here and I'll say, write a LinkedIn post about voice AI agents who are able to do real-time transcriptions of voice to text. And let's see. And there it is. We have a LinkedIn post. It's very basic, not very detailed, but we can prompt it again to make it very, very detailed. But you can see the possibilities of how you can use Spokenly to do things that are tedious and which require a lot of steps in just super simple steps. Go to my Gmail and let me try to reply an email with a professional tone, right? So I'll just go to Spokenly once again and I'll change this prompt to reply to the email that you see in a very professional and calm tone as per the information I'll provide. So, this is done. Now let's go to my email and let's see 
Right. Let's say I want to reply to this email, which is a collaboration email from Superwork from somebody. Please deny respectfully to work on this collaboration. Uh, it's going to take the context and it's going to draft a whole reply. And this should be coming in about a second. Right. So I'll delete this subject, but it, it works. But so far, it works. Right. Or let's say I'll do this. Reply to this email asking for more information and specifically what kind of collaboration is needed. So let's see how that works. Mm. Your collaboration, would you please provide more detail regarding collaboration you're seeking, understanding the specific expectations, all of that, right? I can just reply with my name. And this is what I have just written with spokenly with just giving one command. And that is what I just wanted to show you in this demo. And you can do all of that absolutely free with Spokenly if you want to bring your own API keys or if you want to use local models, which I'm sure is what 99% of use case would be like. And if I compare uh, Spokenly with the biggest app out there, which is Super Whisper, this is what Super Whisper looks like. And if I go to the pricing page, uh, I have to pay Super Whisper. Uh, about $8.49 annually, about $8.49 monthly or this much annually or this much lifetime to do whatever I can do right now with Spokenly for free, right? So if I'm bringing my own API keys, Spokenly is completely free. If I'm using my own models with API keys, Spokenly is completely free. It can translate any language to English automatically. It can transcribe audio and video files i just showed you how it can do that right here so you can transcribe any file you can put any mp3 wave mp4 any file and it will transcribe using whatever model you choose which you can choose from here and you can choose to have local models or online models whatever you wish and it will do everything right inside the app so i don't see a reason i would pay any amount for super whisper when Spokenly is doing all of that with much more finesse and much more easily and most importantly, everything is free. The only reason you would pay for Spokenly is if you're using Spokenly's keys for your models. For example, if you're using online models and using their keys and not yours. So Spokenly does have a pro plan, but it's completely optional and I have not used their pro plan to be honest just for testing I have done but usually I'm using my own API keys because DeepTram is giving you $200 of free credits and that works for me really really well so I hope this was useful the reason I'm doing this video is because first of all this is not sponsored I genuinely like the app and they're in the discord server of Spokenly and I love giving feedback to the developer uh, whose name is Vadim and he is really responsive and really uh, doing a lot of stuff to make this app shine and I appreciate that and and since I'm into voice AI and I love whenever some app gives me functionality that can convert my voice to usable actions I love that and this is the reason I'm just making this video to make you aware about this app and I'm going to uh, compare the voice capabilities of all these APIs like Beatgram, Assembly, uh, Google, OpenAI in my next video if it's already done, you would be able to see that video somewhere on the screen right now. And that's for today. That was Spokenly. Uh, I would put the link of the app uh, in the description below. So check it out. And if you found this useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.